Hey guys, it's David here from One Step at a Time and here on today to talk to you about Aver Media um, and how to hook it up to your PS3. Now, this is a complete guide because the videos they give you and the support that comes with this is crap. Um, so I've had an awful lot of trouble over formatting of discs and trying to get Rec Central working and everything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to everything that you need to do to set this thing up. The first thing is when you get your Aver Media and you're going to need your USB power supply wherever it's gone, there it is and as you can see there's a little switch on the front of it one is for PC free mode everything to your disc and on oh, this PC recording so with Rec Central so you want to have it on that and just plug in your USB pop it into your computer and it'll start flashing it'll probably be red for you because mine's already loaded it'll do its thing it'll start downloading drivers um, automatically onto your PC, so just or your Mac or whatever, because it works for Mac at the moment. I use them to, but they've set up works for Mac. The live game records, but anyway, I don't know anything about the rest of them. And just follow the steps. Um, I'll be showing you inside Rec Central later, but you're literally downloading it to your desktop, so um, that bit should be easy enough, unless you run into some difficulties. Uh, but you can't foresee because it was pretty straightforward for me. I just plugged it in and done the rest itself. Once you have everything done and everything is recorded, just unplug this again. So take this out of your machine. Probably should do it safely, but I couldn't. So then you get your, you can leave this plugged in. I'm just going to pop my laptop on the floor. Actually, I'm going to show you something. This I got this if you can see it. It's my scan this 64 gigabyte and um, I use this for doing the PC free mode. The problem is with this is this comes as far as I'm aware in NTFS and this does not work unless this is in file FAT32. So I'm gonna show you how to to do that with any of these discs so it works each time with that so um, we have to download but I will do that inside my computer later and uh, I'll show you how that's done it's really quick once you've downloaded the software it, it might take about I'd say 30 seconds so we'll do that later and um, the other bit is the setting up the cards I think there's plenty of videos out there but I'll quickly run through them Get your PlayStation, and you just want to hook up this. Everything's still off now. You don't turn anything on. Just pop your. This is the power supply to your unit. If your live game or portable, and then you're going to need your AV cable. That's this one. AV cable, and pop that into the front here, into the AV in, and then pop it into the back of your PlayStation, which is this one here, and I just turned it on again, pop that in there like that, and then you're going to need a HDMI cable, now this is a short one, but if you're using a splitter for your HDMI, you can put that into it. That's what I use. I have a manual splitter for my telly so I can have a couple of things running whenever I want. So, but if not, all you need is your HDMI. Put it into the out section. And just pop it into the out section. And this bit then goes into the back of your telly. Now remember, everything's still off. Don't put anything on at the moment. And that's it for this section of it. Um, I'll just, I'm going to go into my laptop and I'll show you the rest of it in there. 
Okay guys, so here we are on my desktop and like I said, the first thing I'm going to do is reformat our little scan disk for our PC free mode on our uh, live game or portable. So to do that, we're going to need a piece of software. Now there's two places you can download it from. You can download it from CNET or you can download it from its um, own site. And the software is called Easy US. Easy US. And it's Partition Master Free Edition, okay? And if you're in their site in here, all you have to do is click on Download Manager. And when it takes you to this page, you could just go to Partition Manager. And then you're looking for this Easy Partition Man Master Free. And you can click the download. Or alternatively, if you don't like downloading it from main sites and you'd like to do it from a trusted source, you can go to CNET. And you can come in here and you can click the download. As I'm doing this video, it's version 10.2 I'm using. And it's for Windows and it'll work on, um, as far as I know, Vista 7 and Windows 8. Um, so just download it, uh, follow the, it'll ask you if you want to buy it, that's entirely up to yourself, but for what you're doing, if you're only going to use it once, I suggest just using the free version, but that's up to yourself. And um, once you get there then, it'll be on your, just allow it to create a desktop icon, and it's this is it here. Now, the next thing you need to do is get your little disk and pop it into your disk drive, uh, wherever that may be on your computer. And I just have to say now, you have to make sure when you're running this that you pick the drive, the exact drive. You don't want to wipe out your C drive or do anything mad like that. So I just want to say, if you do anything like that, I can't be held responsible for it. I can't believe you have to say that anyway, but um, you do. So I'm saying it, just make sure you have chosen the right drive. I'll go through everything with you. I'm going to, I've already partitioned the drive I showed you at the beginning of the video. So I'm just going to use another one to show you the steps. And um, I suppose let's get to it. I'll just plug in my drive. <coughs> And then I'll just show you here. If I go into my into my documents, I'm just going to go into my computer. You'll see here that my SD card is on my G drive. So that's very important to remember. There's your C drive. There's your D. There's your E drive. Okay, your F drive for your DVDs and stuff. But just remember that it's the G you're after, or whatever yours comes up as. It could be different on your machine, but it's definitely the SD, so make sure you pick this one. So I've just shown you that, so I'll close that down. Let's minimize that. And we're just going to go into Easy as Partition Master. Take a second to load. And then you just want to double click in here. Okay, when it opens up, you'll be on this screen here. Now, there's an awful lot of stuff in here. Half of it I wouldn't have a clue about. That's not why we're here. It's this G drive. These are the rest of your drives in. You don't want to worry about that. It's this one here. And we want to have that, as it's shown at the moment, it's saying it's FAT16. That's just, if it was the other one, it'd probably be um, NTFS. So whatever's coming up, it doesn't really matter. You just right click on that with your mouse until it's highlighted. And then you want to go down and say format partition. You just click format partition. And then you can just, you can call it, um, I usually just call it um, external drive. Um, put a dash there. And um, file system, we just at the drop down box, click on FAT32. And this option here, because of the, the type of disk I'm formatting, it, it um, won't look like yours. You'll have an option here. That usually it's like 30 kilobytes comes up here for the cluster size. Um, I do tend to choose 64, but um, I'm just going to leave this the way it is for the moment because I'm not too worried about this drive anyway. It's only an old one I had lying around. But just make sure that you name it whatever you want. Uh, the file system 
you have to have a FAT32. This cluster size usually for those bigger ones, the 64 gigabytes, usually 32 kilobytes. I normally use the drop down use 64 and then just click OK. Now it's put in the form of partition G as FAT and the same pending operations over here. That's it hasn't done anything yet. You need to apply that. So you have to come up here to apply. Click apply. And then it says one operation currently pending. Apply the change now. And you just say yes. You don't need to shut down your computer. Because you can remove this afterwards. You just say yes. And as you can see it's. Do want to sing. It only takes a few seconds really. It's almost 30 seconds. There we go. And. You're done. Uh, anyway, I'm going to close that. I'm just going to show you when I go in here now. Uh, go to my computer and I go on to this. Right click and I choose properties. It's showing me here that it was FAT16 as you seen on the video. And now it's a removable disk and it's file FAT32. And it tells you how the, much capacity is in it and that's it guys it's done all you want to do then is wherever you want to just click to safely remove it and eject and then just pop it out and that's it guys that's your disk formatted all you have to do then is pop that into your back into your ever media the next step guys once you're in your um, PS3 is to change your display settings. So just go down to your display settings. Click on display settings. And then go into video output settings. Click enter. AV multi scart. Go across. And go across. Now I'm not going to change it because it's going to affect the way my system is working at the moment because I'm recording. But when you click change, it'll give you an option to um, agree. You just say yes, and it's going to come up with all of the screen types from 580 up to 1080p. Just click check all the little boxes, and then just hit enter, and then it'll reload your your PS3. Just gonna click back. That's it. Sometimes you you see a little um, buffering wheel come up there. That's because I have the Avermedia actually to do this video. But if I go and try and show you all of the settings, it will um, it'll just give me a blank screen with no signal. So I don't want to do that. But I showed you how to get to it. It's kind of easy after that. Just check all the boxes from 580 up to. 1080i, 1080 1080p, 720, check all those boxes and just hit enter. And then everything's set up for recording um, through your ever media. You just have one last step to do, and that's to actually set up Rec Central itself. So to do that, we have to go back out into my desktop again. Okay, guys, the last thing we have to go through is the ever media we central or rec central and uh, just double click on that on your icon okay and once it loads up you should be on this if it's on the bulletin which it sometimes is just click on capture and you get this little wizard here just click on the advanced option and once you arrive in here if you're going in from the beginning You'll see it's probably set on the default. And um, I clicked on the downward, I went to the temp and I changed it. In case there was any problem, I could always go back to the default one. And my settings that I chose, the only way I could get it to work was click on game console, click on component. Um, unless it'll work for an Xbox, PS3, no matter what I did, I couldn't, no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to work. So you can run with component there on the settings. And then in the capture device, you need to come down here to Component LR and click on that. Now, the microphone is unchecked by default. 
so if you want to use my phone click on that and over here where the video settings is you can save it in mp4 or .ts I tested it a, a good bit I found it probably better on the TS and the resolution affects the amount of frame rates you get so at the moment you have an option there for 50 but if I change this resolution and I go for the max like this one let's say, this frame rate automatically changes so I think as far as I know the default when you arrive in there is the, the max resolution but you'll only get 30 frames um, so if you want a higher frame rate you'll have to drop your resolution so I kind of go with the default YouTube settings which is your 1280 by 720 that. and then uh, when you come down here you see you get your option then to go back to your 50 frames per second and once you're happy that's pretty much it you just either click save to save that profile or you click ready and then it says do you want to save changes you say okay and your profile is saved okay and then it'll load up and as you can see I have just a game in there running at the moment so that's it guys I hope you liked the video and if you do hit the like button subscribe if you want um, share if you like and uh, I'll see you in the next video good luck